Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind. And welcome to Living Supernaturally And welcome to Songspiration uh, We're taking this time to look at some of the songs To sing some of the songs And look at the lives of the songwriters um, Who wrote such beautiful hymns That inspired the church And brought life and transformation Because of the truth of what it proclaimed um, This hymn was written by John Newton John Newton was uh, just a little boy of seven When his mother died His mother had a very positive influence on his life uh, But she died when he was just seven and his father was a captain on a slave trading ship so he never spent much time with his family so after spending time with relatives and uh, moving around uh, John Newton joined his father on this slave trading ship and his life changed he became his heart became hardened towards the things of God and uh, he saw the cruelty and uh, and the harshness of life on the slave trading vessel and uh, he became hardened towards uh, all other human beings as well. So uh, they traveled to the west coast of Africa and they took people uh, from there as slaves and brought them to work on plantations. And, uh, and he was living such a hardened life. He saw people as commodity rather than human beings created in the image of God. But once on the sea, uh, uh, faced a life-threatening storm um, and he was really fearful for his life. And John Newton cried out to God and he prayed, uh, asking that his life might be spared. And his prayer was answered. The storm abated. There was great calm on the sea. And uh, for the first time, John Newton realized that the power of God was so much greater than anything else that he had known. So he had a change of heart. And as he went back to the shore, he gave his heart to the Lord. He gave his life to the Lord. Uh, he wanted to serve this amazing God who forgave him and gave him a change of heart despite the kind of life that he had lived and the kind of wickedness uh, he had extended to people around. So he wrote about this amazing grace of God. And uh, when he was 39 years old, he began his preaching and music ministry. And this amazing grace was one of the hymns that he had written. He was truly a man who was forgiven much and he knew the value of amazing grace. Through many dangers, toils and snares I have already come Tis grace had brought me Save thus far, and grace will lead me home. The Lord has promised good to me, His word, my hope, secure. life endures. Shall we pray? 
Father, we thank you for your most amazing grace because of which we are saved, Lord. We thank you that you are able to save to the uttermost and today Lord we have that encouragement and assurance that your grace which has led us till today will continue to lead us you will continue to lead us with your amazing grace we thank you for what is available for us today lord we thank you for your forgiveness we thank you for your grace and mercy which empowers us and strengthens us today and for our tomorrows we thank you in jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.